Hi, uh, the next tip we're going to talk about is paints. I purchased this paint from Lowe's. It's $83 for five gallons uh, on a regular day. Today it's on sale for $55 for five gallons. And if you buy two pails, you get one free. So when you do the math and you, and you add it all up, it actually works out to $7.50 a gallon. Now people get confused by you know mass marketing and all these big box stores that you got to buy amazing paints and you got you to spend $30 a gallon. But let's be realistic here. We're buying houses, we're fixing them, we need a good quality paint that's going to last, that's going to look nice, and it's a good color. This particular paint is from Para. It's a recycled paint, so it's a green product. It's a low VOC, which is excellent if you're a contractor or a painter. You should be advertising green paints, low VOCs. It it's, it's almost seems like it's an upgraded service, but it, it's actually a recycled paint. So, um, One of the ways we like to save money is we buy, buy it in bulk, and we keep it in a heated garage, and uh, that's how we do it. Money saving tip number two. If you're buying paint, keep, buy it in five gallon pails. The nice thing about five gallon pails is you can mix mud in it, you can mix thin set in it, and you can clean them out. A lot of people laugh and say, well, they got clean pails at Home Depot. Why would I want to clean out a, a bucket? One year I added up all the buckets that I purchased from Home Depot or Lowe's, and it was almost $350. So $5 bucket, it's free. You buy the paint, especially if you buy recycled paint, it's green paint, you're doing good for the environment, as well as you're saving five bucks on a bucket. So don't waste your money. Put a custom door here. A lot of times when you're doing a flipper, or you're doing a rent, uh, renovation of, on a house, a door this size is custom, so you have to order it in advance. Uh, typically a door like this would be anywhere from $1,500 to $2,500. This particular door costs us around six or $700. What we did was we used a two by six on either side, Put a 2x6 on this side, we built the frame, we jam out, and then we bought a secondary window that fits in the side, and then what we're going to do is we're going to caulk all the seams and fill all the nail holes, and then that way you can save yourself about $1,000 $1,500. Option when you're doing a renovation is you need all new doors. The nice thing about the new doors is you don't have to touch them up, you don't have to fix them, everything looks nice and pretty. The bad thing is a lot of old, a lot of old door frames are not square, they're not level. So yes, you can buy a, a new door, a six panel door for around $30. But the thing that most people don't know is you have to rebuild the whole frame. You have to take everything out. You have to router the hinges. It takes you twice as long. So what we like to do is we like to use the existing doors. Yes, they're ugly, but with a little love and care, we can take care of them and they'll look great. So first thing you're going to do is once you get your door is a lot of times the hinges won't, won't be in the right place. So what you're going to have to do is fill these. Now a lot of people use wood filler, it is good but it takes a long time to dry and it's not as durable. We like to use Bondo. So with the Bondo we add a little bit of hardener to the Bondo, we mix it up, anyone that's uh, worked in a car is familiar, we mix it up until it's all the same color, like a light pink color. It's usually going to take two coats, but the nice thing about the Bondo is it dries really, really hard. And it only takes about 15 or 20 minutes before it's dry, and then you can do your next coat. So in a full day, you know, you can do all your doors and get them ready. So once that's drying, the next step to making a door look half decent is you're going to go to this. You're going to get a little door stop, and you're going to cut it out. You're going to make a square all the way around. You're going to fill all the nail holes. You're going to sand the door. You're going to prime the door, and then you're going to paint the door. So at the very end, you got a great product. No one's really going to know this is an old door. It looks nice and clean. You put a new handle and some new hinges, and everything's good. The big thing is buying stuff in bulk. I wait until Home Depot or Lowe's has things on sale. Uh, this particular towel cost me 40 cents. It's not the best looking towel in the world, but it's good for what we need it for. Another way to enhance your towels to save some money and make it look like you spend more money even though you haven't is to add a decorative border. So what we'll do is we'll add this border at the four feet, four foot mark, run it all the way along. Um, this sheet here costs $13, so you get basically four pieces out of the sheet. The nice thing about this is when you add your listing or for rental, you can see it's upgraded. So we have natural stone and we have glass tiles. Um, a lot of key phrases people like to hear.
All right, one of the big things about selling a property or rehabbing a property is, is the appearance of it. This house, people can actually see it from the street. So the, the big, big thing that we like to do is we like to take down all the little trees, open it up. Even if there's no fence, it doesn't matter. It looks clean, there's gonna be new sod. So the big trees are awesome. We cut all the big branches off and it's like a park. But the little trees cover up all the lights and then you start getting mosquitoes and you start getting damp grass. So a good cost saving way is to cut down all the little trees and rent yourself a chipper. So you can chip up all the branches. We're going to re-level, regrade this whole property. So Another great way to save some money is to take back some reusable resources. This is some aluminum siding that we removed from the house. We basically strip it down, we put it inside the trailer, we take it back to the dump, or the waste scales, excuse me, and then uh, we should get about two or three hundred dollars worth of uh, profit here. So we can use that to, to rent uh, the nice machine you see over there in the background. All used cabinets, I very rarely buy new cabinets. You can go to Gigi, you can uh, put ads in the paper. People are always trying to get rid of cabinets for no good reason at all. These particular cabinets have some glass doors, which are kind of nice. You gotta remember, this isn't a custom home. It's gonna be a rental, it's gonna be a flip, so it doesn't have to be perfect. I wouldn't probably want this in my house, but for a renter, this is nicer than a lot of rental units. Another way to modify the cabinet is we didn't have enough cabinets to do an overhead, so we actually just use this cabinet, put it on its side, and put a door closer on it so they could actually use it. Another big thing about cabinets is you're going to get ends that aren't finished. People are, how are we going to finish these ends? It's not a huge deal. You're going to have a stove here. So we're going to get some paint that matches the same color as the cabinets. We're going to fill the holes. We're going to paint them. The other thing to remember about cabinets is there's a lot of kitchen companies that will give you a countertop and they charge you so much money per one your foot and so much per a pack. What I like to do is I go to Home Depot or Lowe's, I buy this slab, I take it to a local carpenter shop, they do the cuts for me, they glue it, that way I get it the same day, I'm not waiting two or three weeks. So that's a really good, good point there. Another thing is, I never buy a new sink. All the stainless steel sinks I buy online, I usually spend $10, $15 for a sink, usually they're $100. I, I get all these taps, online as well. Someone's throwing this out, they want the nice fancy tap that can spray and make water everywhere. But I just buy the Mullins. The nice thing about Mullins, all the valves inside are inter interchangeable. So if I, if I get this at a garage sale for five dollars, I get a free valve anywhere I go. Lowe's, Home Depot, um, even Rona. That's another good point. Another thing is hood fans and appliances. I never buy any new appliances or hood fans. People are always throwing these out. They want the stainless steel this and stainless steel that. The rental, as long as it's clean and it works, it doesn't matter. I mean, if you pay $30 for this, get $100 for this, this fridge, normally the, the fridge would typically probably be 350 $400. So, in this whole kitchen, if you add everything up, it probably saves around $1,500 to $100. So, a lot of people say you can't make money doing flips, but you can if you do it properly. Oh, cent, five cent.